Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romance books that are coming out next month in July. There are a lot of books on today's list that I am really excited for. So let's just dive right on in. First is Him of Breath and Bone by Madeline Elliott. This comes out on July 1st. This is the second book to her Whispering Sea Duet series, which is a fantasy romance series. I really enjoyed the heroine in here has asthma. The heroine is a selkie. The hero is a siren. They're sworn enemies, but then they kidnap each other you'll see in us you'll see when you read the book um but the first one kind of left off on a cliffhanger i'm excited for book number two can't wait on july 2nd the traditional published book of the match by sarah adams comes out i still want to read this this is available like on ebook right now um and i think audio i can still listen to it on libby right now but like i just want to let y'all know like that it's going to be republished like physically on July 2nd. And I really wanna read this one cause our heroine, I believe like trains service dogs and sets people up with their service dog. And the hero is a single dad and his daughter is epileptic and they're needing a service dog for his daughter. So I like, that just sounds so good to me. Fire Away by Lanny Lawson also comes out on July 2nd. This cover whew, it is so stinking cute. It's giving like small town ranch vibes for sure. Looks like our hero needs a fake date to make his ex jealous. He's a cowboy. So there's fake dating. He's a cowboy, it's small town, and there's even a little bit of romantic suspense, which has me very intrigued. Joined at the Joints by Marissa Eller also comes out on July 2nd. This is young adult, but I'm so excited for this. Both of these characters have chronic illnesses. I think both of them have the same chronic illness, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm 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 just I'm just so excited. I love any book with chronic illness representation, so you best believe I will be ready to read this one. My cat is tearing apart the couch. Let's not, please. <laughs> anyway, I'm really excited for this. It looks absolutely stunning and I'll be reading any book with Chronic Gildas Rep. My last book to mention that comes out on July 2nd is Winning the Nightcap by Jane Hayes. It looks like these two characters like knew each other growing up, but they haven't seen each other in years. And Aiden the hero actually comes back to town. He is a professional baseball player. And I think this is kind of like Black Cat um golden retriever hero energy like she's more of a cynic and i think they were actually like dating all those years ago so he's trying to convince her to give them like a second chance it seems really fun and cute this one also caught my eye on instagram with the cover this is live ranch love by emma lucy which is a small town enemies to lovers cowboy romance that comes out on july 5th rory and here has a very successful life and business but then she finds out her boyfriend is with another woman. So she says to run away to her late great aunt's ranch in Colorado. And Rory's hoping to fix up the place and then sell it for a higher profit. Wyatt is our head ranch hand. He's very grumpy and stoic and he is not gonna let the ranch go away that easily. He's gonna fight her tooth and nail for it. But then Rory comes up with a different plan to turn the ranch into a wellness retreat and in return like Wyatt can stay taking care of the ranch. And through them fixing this place up, they fall for each other obviously. It seems really cute. I love like any cowboy ranch romance. We're getting a new Mia Sheridan book this month. This is Unwanted, which comes out on July 9th. All I know is that this is like a romantic suspense book, which I don't think I've read one from Mia before. Um, so I'm excited. I've read quite a few Mia Sheridan books. She's really good at writing contemporary romances. So that's all I know about this is that it's suspenseful. If y'all didn't know, by the way, I don't really love reading the summaries of books by authors I've already read before because I already know that I love their books. So I don't want to like spoil myself for their book, I wanna go in as blind as possible. So all I know is this is a romantic suspense by Mia. Next is Off Limits by Ava Gray, which comes out on July 15th. This is a forbidden age gap nanny romance. I saw a nanny and age gap sold. And it looks like he's also a billionaire, yes. Our heroine is the nanny. She's very attracted to her new boss, AKA a billionaire dad and the hottest man alive. She really wants to keep her job, but she also wants a place in this man's heart. There's like some drama and other things going on too that's making their lives difficult, but I just wanna leave it there. Um, I'm really excited. I love nanny romances. On July 16th, we have Business Casual by BK Borson. This is her last book in the Love Light Farm series, which I love the Love Light Farm series. I'm completely caught up with the series. So I'm gonna read this one right when it drops or whenever Libby gets the audiobook, honestly, probably. <laughs> um, but I don't know who this one is about at all, but I love this small town romance series. If you have not checked it out yet, please do. It gives me like Stars Hollow vibes so hard, like so hard. I love Stars Hollow from Gilmore Girls. And like, it's as if it was in book form with like how fun and welcoming all these people are and how funny they are too. Like, I love it. Also on July 16th, I have The Best of All by Carla Sorensen. I love Carla Sorensen's books. I need to read more of them, but this is her newest release. 
And this is, I think, book two in a duet. So I don't know what book one is. So I don't want to read the summary for this one because I don't want to be spoiled. Um, but yeah, just letting y'all know the second book in this series comes out. Not Another Love Song by Julie Soto also comes out on July 16th. I am dying to read this one. I read her debut a few months ago, fell in love with it. This cover is so stinking hot and so good. Like it looks so all I know about this is our two main characters are musicians. One's a violinist and the other one is a cellist. That's all I know. I'll be impatiently waiting for this one to release. I'm so excited. Rope Me In by Kayla Gross, another one I'm dying to read, comes out on July 17th. This is the next book in her like cowboy small town romance series. I love Rain Me In. Rain Me In is over there. I love it so much. And so Rope Me In is book number two. We have plus size representation, a cowboy hero. That's all I need to know. I, I'm gonna love this. Mending Me by Rebecca Wrights comes out on July 18th. This is a meet cute strangers to lovers interracial romance. Oh my gosh, this sounds so stinking cute. So Hank recently moves um, to Charleston after being gone for so long. He was in the army and one of his main things is going to the gym. He's like, I just wanna go to the gym, like relax, take a breath in the gym. That, I know a lot of people who feel the same way about the gym. They love going to the gym. And um, he keeps getting distracted every morning by a blonde girl in the gym who's reading in between her sets. And he's like, who reads at the gym? Apparently our heroine does. One morning he gets pulled aside by her to pretend to be her boyfriend to make one of the creeps of the gym stay away from her. And that's kind of where their story starts. Both of them have kind of like traumatic pasts and trauma that they're getting over. So they're dealing with that as well. Next is Rain, Rain, <laughs> Run Away by India Tungate. This one comes out on July 22nd. Honestly, I am obsessed with this cover artist for <laughs> this romance book. And a lot of her books end up on this list because I follow her, I love all of her covers. So that's honestly why it's on this list, but we're gonna see what this is about. So it looks like Rain is forced to confront her past when a family emergency brings her back to her small town of Cove Wood. And her main mission is to steer clear of Ryland at all costs. But Faye has other plans, which has entangled her with Ryland as he oversees the renovation of her grandparents' farmhouse, a project she unwittingly signed up to lead. And then Ryland's whole world turns upside down when his long lost love comes back into the picture. This is Second Chance Romance and apparently takes place in like past and present chapters where in the past you get to watch the two of them fall in love with their teenagers, which sounds so cute. On July 23rd, we have Sunset Dreams by L.B. Benson. I saw a wolf in a motorcycle. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this a wolf shifter romance with like a motorcycle club? So our heroine has a crush on her next door neighbor, but she thinks like, oh, he doesn't like realize I exist when that's actually quite the contrary. He has taken notice to her as well. The hero has been exiled from his pack. So he's a werewolf shifter, has been exiled from them for 10 years after a very reckless night. And he's built a quiet life hidden from anyone who might recognize him from the past. So he's kind of like kept his distance from people, hasn't really interacted with people, but then he meets our heroine. They're both really lonely and they find solace in each other, which seems really sweet. And I wonder how like she's going to figure out about like them being like, shifters and stuff like I'm excited. Next is Cross the Line by Simone Solitani. This comes out on July 23rd. I think this is a motocross romance. I've seen it all over Instagram. The cover's really cute, so I had to put it on here. Guarded by the Vodnik by Leila Fay comes out on July 24th. This is a part of her monster security agency series, basically where like you get genetically matched to your perfect match. Who just so happens to be a monster creature? And this one is a Vodnik. Peppermint Bark No Bite by Bailey Seaborn comes out on July 25th and it looks like this is a best friend's brother LGBTQ plus holiday romance. There's already holiday romances coming out. Look at that, y'all. So this has transgender representation. One of Grace's big dreams in life is to become a mom, which has been a lifetime goal that she's put on hold after being kicked out of her biological family for being transgender. And then she meets Alex, her best friend's ridiculously hot and painfully arrogant brother, who's more interested in money-making than merry-making. Their unexpected connection heats alongside her grandmother's famous caramel apple pie until reality sets in as the new year approaches and Alex's prestigious promotion across the country beckons. Okay, I'm excited. I haven't read a lot of romances with this representation in it. So I'm really excited. This cover is so stinking cute. Next is Playbook by Rebecca Jenshack, which is the second book in her Holland Brothers series. I really fell in love with like the Holland Brothers when I read the first book in this series. So I can't wait. This one comes out on July 25th. All it says in the blurb right now is it's a fake dating, grumpy sunshine, football romance. And the last one that I have is Fall With Me by Becca Mack. This is the fourth book in her Plank for Keep series. I still have to read the other books in the series, but it looks really good. Okay, this one comes out on July 30th. So this one's about Jackson and Lennon. So Jackson is exceptional at three things, starting fights on the ice, picking up women post game, 
and going home to fulfill his role as the world's best cat dad. <laughs> Relationships unfortunately missed the list. Lennon is supposed to be on her honeymoon. Instead, she's alone and single vacationing next door to a surly tattooed man who ran his date off the resort. When a run in at the bar results in a night of bickering and cocktails, she finds herself tumbling into bed with the enemy next door, then sneaking out before the sun comes up. Lennon's plan to start over in a new city is going great until her new job starts. The job, the Vancouver Vipers new photographer and the defenseman scowling at her from across the room. The one night stand that she wasn't supposed to see again. Good thing neither of them are looking for anything serious. Right. I love hockey romances and I also love like romances with, with photographers in them. They're really fun. So, and Hickory just decided to eat some dinner. So if you hear that, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. Those are some romance releases I'm excited for that come out next month in July. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me, what emoji are we gonna do? Let's do an orange, an orange emoji, any color or the fruit, whatever you wanna do. Uh, that color emoji down below. <laughs> Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.